All right, so about a day later, our patch has held up. I'll probably continue keeping it inflated and everything for another day or so, double check everything. But I think that was our only hole. All these tubes have now been, all these chambers have now been filled for at minimum 48 hours, except for that one that we just patched that's been about 24 hours. So I'm just gonna wait on this one. And then as long as that's all okay, um, it's now Thursday. So this weekend I'll pick up my piece of flooring and then cut it, sand it, trim all the edges. I'm going to have um, bolts sticking up from underneath the floor where center console, it'll pop up through the bottom of the center console and use wing nuts to tighten it down along with the front seat and the bench seat as well. But today we're gonna be working on my brand new back bench seat with the top building it. So I'll show you guys how I did that. If you remember from the previous episode, um, I said I was going to make a little cardboard um, template over my old bench sheet that I miscut and I'll just show you guys that quickly. So here it is, just a bunch of cardboard taped out to fit there, right there pretty well. So this will be my template for my top piece. I'm going to stay at the same height as my old bench sheet, which is currently holding up the boat on an angle so basically staying at the same site replacing it with building it a little bit lighter and it's still just as strong cut out the top um, also today I'm not really showing you guys much of this because who wants to sit there and watch somebody paint but I'm painting part of my front my front hatch so I'm painting the inside that's first coat there'll be another coat that goes on the top is being painted as well. I'm gonna get permanently attached the front cushion, remount everything, but this is a good look at the front little section here. Um, so got most important thing on any boat. Got my little flip out cup holder. Got two Bluetooth speakers that are all wired and just waiting for power. Um, basically, this will get painted and sealed up too after I get the top back on. I uh, use stainless steel staples to put in the carpet. This is a marine gray carpet. I'm gonna paint the bottom. That's my little daughter's drawing. But gonna paint the bottom to seal it all up. Put the top back on with the cushion. And then my front seat will be good to go. Um, basically how I'm gonna measure it out is I'm gonna have um, brackets on the inside of the storage compartment at the bottom where probably two either two or four wing nuts will uh, bolts and nuts will come up out of the floor and then you just tighten them down with the wing nut and that'll keep this one in place and then also at the end of the season undo the wing nuts pull the flooring pull this off pull the flooring out and I can deflate the boat and just put it in storage in my garage without taking up too much space so it's going to be semi-permanent in terms of the flooring and everything that's in there, but everything can be taken down and broken down so that it saves on storage. But yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just waiting for this paint to dry. Then I'll flip it over and paint the bottom of it. And then that'll be done. Attach the cushion and our front seat will be officially done. So moving right along. All right, got my new four deck cut out. I mean, my rear seat. This is the hatch for it. Again, this is half inch uh, ACX ply ground on vehicle. So we're gonna get the sander going and sand it all down and then start to put it all together. So there you go, that's where it's gonna sit. With the patch underneath it. Um, I sanded down all the corners so that everything's buttery smooth before I put it in there. There's a little bit of gaps because I'm, obviously I'm gonna be carpeting this. So I want there to be some, some room for carpet. So, but that's roughly where it's gonna go once it's all built out. So here we go, keep moving along. And I did sand down the hatch as well, which is gonna be a very nice, I'm just putting this on back, but it'll be a very nice fit. And yeah, that's what it kind of looked like. So moving along. All right, so here's the start of the back box. Well, I started already, but basically, I laid in two by fours as support for um, what's actually gonna act as more like the legs of this box. 
So these are cut at 12 inches plus the half inch top. So 12 and a half inches from the base to the top of the seat. Um, two by four supports on either side. Two, a short two by four piece in the back. I cut the side pieces out to the length of my seat. They do have, you can see this, but they do have an overhang that'll act as the um, seat top support. And then I actually ran out of brand new quarter inch, I mean half inch ply, but I had an old sheet of half inch ply. That's why that one's a little old or whatever. It's just the inside of the box. So I'm just gonna tap this down, glue and screw it, and then should be able to flip it over and you'll see how it's gonna sit. Okay, so here's the rear deck as it's going to sit. Um, so as I explained, I did throw some screws in through the top of those to just make sure that those two by fours were secured for now until the Gorilla Glue dries. Um, I'm gonna put wood filler in the seams here. Uh, this is the top. The top, as you can tell, it's on nicely there. And then there will be a half inch. I have to go to Home Depot and get one more half inch sheet of ACX. That'll close up the front of the box. And that's it some carpet on it some hinges and we'll be good to go okay so i just threw some wood filler in the top is going to be sanded down painted inside is going to be sanded down painted um, but i just did the seams there so i'll hand sand the inside and seams the top i'll use the random orbital sander once i get my front uh panel on gotta go to home depot to get it uh, once i get my front panel on i will would fill the front as well so i should have a pretty nice storage box here um, with some pretty decent storage and really the only thing that's going to go in here are maybe some dock lines a cooler or something like that um so yeah should be pretty good all right here's a little mock-up of the back bench sheet so single steel hinges put on just a test fit here uh works pretty good this is going to sit somewhere back here like oops i can't see this is going to sit somewhere back there like that if i can get it to stand up for a second i'll show you guys but i don't know if i'll be able to put this here for a second oh not gonna work but you get the idea so that'll be the backrest obviously it's got the three rod holders on the back my stern light and we're getting there <laughs> 